It's only tea and coffee. No, I don't want it. Oh, just piece of no, cake. No, I don't want it. Are you trying to poison me? He was never like this before. We've been married for 52 years and he's always taken good care of me. Reshma, he's going to be okay. The hospital staff say he's recovering really well from the chest infection. Why is it happening again? Reshma! 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 Where are you? Reshma! 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 Reshma? Can you tell me if something's happening at home with your husband? I take him his lunch and he says he's eaten. He's not the same person. I don't know what to do. I want to eat it! They said dementia could change him, but he's become a different person. You've been cheating on me. I can see it. I can see it. It's all over your face. I'm sorry, Reshma. I'm so sorry. I don't want him to end up in a nursing home, but I'm scared. You are dealing with a lot of change at the moment, and dementia affects everybody in the family. Can we talk a little bit more about what's happening at home? I'm worried about you. Sometimes families find themselves in difficult circumstances and it's hard to know what's okay and what's not okay. Physical abuse is one form of elder abuse and it may or may not be intentional or easy to recognise. People with dementia can have changed behaviours. Physical abuse is very rare, but even in these circumstances, carers may want to keep caring. They may find it difficult to talk about abuse and worry what will happen to their loved one living with dementia if they ask for help. As with all cases, the best line of action always begins with a conversation with your supervisor about what you've seen. Take notes of any concerns you have so you can be accurate. Reshma is fearful, so understanding her story as completely as possible is important. Reshma is at real risk, so it's important to develop a safety plan with her. This could include calling Triple O in an emergency, having contact details of neighbours and friends or family members who could come to the house or offer support. While Mulchand is in hospital, a referral for Reshma to carer support and for Mulchand to the psychogeriatric team could help with behavioural assessment and a medication review. An ACAT visit can be arranged to assess Mulchand's support needs at home. A family meeting would be the time to consider options such as counselling or to discuss services such as respite. Sometimes family members aren't aware of what is happening and this is a good time to discuss what informal and formal support is available. Education on safety is important. Many people try to care for their loved one for as long as they can, but abuse is never okay. If you need more information or would like to speak to someone about someone you care for, please call the Elder Abuse Hotline 1800 Elder Help 1800 353 374 and you will be directed to the relevant service in your state.